Okay. Facebook played haha just tricking this morning because it like started so Susan's like go and then she's like nope never no, mind no. go no never mind no okay okay go is it going or not <laughs> apparently it's going now but Facebook had the hiccups this morning so now we have the giggles I'd rather have the giggles than the hiccups anyway right I mean I know how to get rid of your hiccups yeah I know you do don't do it right now <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do it right now. It wouldn't work right now because she'd know it was coming. Okay. I scared the hiccups out of her one day. It worked. And I didn't even, this is the, I guess, the good thing about being a jumpy person. I didn't have to try that hard. <laughs> oh. Jump scare queen. Right? We're easily amused. Easily amused around here. I knew I was forgetting something. counter didn't have enough stuff on it. I knew I was yeah. writing something. <laughs> All right, so let's kick things off with starting to talk about our grand prize, which will all come stuffed in this fabulous tote bag from our friends at Dream and Color. There are three patterns. This one's gotten a little curly, really. We have our silver point cowl with that beautiful elongated cable stitch pattern. We have the Fishnets Mesh Lace Cowl, surprisingly hard to say. And then we have the Sporte Cowl, which is kind of my favorite of the bunch because I really like this Fibonacci stripe sequence where it's just changing how many rows per stripe. Like you can kind of see this yellow row is bigger than that yellow row. So you get this shift where it's predominantly one color and then it's predominantly the other color. So you're actually using your colors pretty 50-50. So that's what I would do if I were eligible and won the grand prize because we have four skeins of our Linen Whisper, two each in the colors Moss, which is this beautiful olive green, and then the color Fawn, which is this beautiful soft sand color. You have plenty to do, like you could actually do the largest size on the cowl with that bundle, or you could do a silver point and a fishnets, or you could do a small one of these and then small ones of those. Like you got lots of options for your yarn this time. Then we have some fun goodies, the wool dryer balls. There's a set of four of them in there. They are 100% wool. They make doing your laundry just a little bit less exhausting because um, you don't need dryer sheets, so you're saving money on dryer sheets, and they shorten the time that your load has to run, so you're saving money on electricity also and on it heating up your house and the air conditioning running, therefore more electricity. Joyce, you keep losing your dryer balls. Do you have pets? Oh, yeah, dogs like dryer balls. I know that much. Um I mean, cats do too, but they have a little harder time destroying them than dogs do. Yeah. Small, much smaller mouths. Well, okay, depending on the dog. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm thinking big dogs. And then we have, speaking of dogs, the less people, more dogs socks. Because when the world gets you down, pet a fur baby. Yeah. Whether it's dogs or cats or chinchillas. Ooh, soft. You know, they're so <laughs> soft. I don't remember where I was that I got to pet one, but they're, I thought bunnies were soft. Chinchillas are softer. More soft, yeah. Yeah, they're more soft. And then, uh, last but not least, we have 144 locking stitch markers in a rainbow of colors so that you can afford to lose a few. Step on a few. You know, things happen to stitch markers. Don't step on them. Well, these probably wouldn't hurt too bad because of plastic, but yeah. still doesn't end well for the four markers sometimes for your foot but 144 I ought to give you enough to afford to lose at least half before you start desperately needing more markers so at least a week before you run out right right I, that <laughs> sounds reasonable so how you get entered into the grand prize drawing is by making a purchase. It's any purchase, big, small, clearance, regular price, classes, everything. 
knitting machines, blocking. Basically, every time you check out, gets you an entry. So it includes when you check out here in person in the boutique, online at antiquiarns.com, and over the phone with us. And then on Tuesday, August 1st, I think it's the first. Yeah. Tuesday, August 1st, I think that's right. I thought it was the second. I did too, but then, it, no, my sheet is correct. My brain is wrong. Okay. It's, at least one of us knows what we're doing. Piece of paper, don't. Yay, paper. <laughs> um, so Tuesday, August 1st, I will draw to see who the lucky winner is because Boss Lady will still be in Vegas. Buying more goodies. That's why we have to have a clearance sale. Yes. We had to make room for these goodies because sometimes boxes show up and we tell the UPS man to go away. Mm -hmm. No one anymore. I'm not ready. Okay. Like, no, 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 no. Come back tomorrow. He can bring Maybe some next today. week. I finished yesterday's box, so he can come today. Where are we going to put it? I don't know. <laughs> Although, UPS, please bring us everything this week, just in case. Oh, no, they came to an agreement. Oh, did they? At least a provisional one. Yay. Yeah. So hopefully no UPS. Truck. That was going to be not fun. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. All right. So, moving on to the daily prize. We have one skein of a retired colorway from our friend Alexandra at Alexandra the Art of Yarn in this beautiful flamingo colorway. This is a DK weight, about 300 yards per skein of 100% superwash merino wool. And we have it paired with Danielle's pattern, La Mer de Carré, which is in almost the same color. Almost. A little more corally, that's the name. Um, but it's a really fun pattern where one row you decrease and the other row you increase, and it just makes this really pretty kind of almost woven looking texture, creates little tiny eyelets. And you have enough to make um, the small or the medium or maybe the large but not so tall. You can make a skinny large. <laughs> make a skinny I'm latte. I'm like, that needs a name. Right? <laughs> So, how you get entered into the daily drawing is by what I see lots of you already doing. If you interact with the video in any way, you get entries. Um, reactions get one entry per reaction. If you comment, you get five entries per comment. Excuse me. I promise you guys I slept last night. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll do lots of hearts because everybody needs love. So five entries per comment, and then if you share to your friends, to your stories, wherever you share, just go back to the comment section and put shared to and where, and then you'll get 11 entries per share. And then it goes into the next day's drawing. So today's winner is determined off of yesterday's video interactions. Kate Plowden, congratulations. Not local, correct? Correct. All right, so come visit us. But if you can, next time you make a purchase, let us know in the notes you have a prize, and we will include it in your pretty pink shipment. That was almost a tongue twister. It is kind of. I've just said it so many days that it starts to... Yeah, sometimes it just rolls out. off, but sometimes it yeah. doesn't. But this is... um. What Danielle is giving away on her birthday, so every purchase gets you an entry in this drawing as well. Let's see, I knew I was forgetting something. No. Uh -oh. One skein of 100% cashmere and one skein of beaded silk. There is no sequins in that one, but there is a little bit more yardage. You sure we can't win this one? Yeah. Okay, fine. We'll just have to buy our own. Like grown-ups. Yeah. I do have some cashmere, but not that color yet. Which is, you know, weird, because it has purple in I it. I know, right? Therefore, I know. Why? I had to branch out. I got a crazy color in one of them. Oh, yeah, I like that one. Yeah, I always give it the wrong name, but you know which one it is. I want to say it's the 7CC5. Yes, five. something. No, 5's purple, 10. 7CC10, I think. It's a CC something. Anywho, 
Kitty, who's it? Okay, so before we dive into a clearance yarn, I was a little bit shocked that these got clearanced because who doesn't love a good sparkly bag, especially one that you can zip up and keep your project in. We've got this one stuffed full of tissue to make it nice and poopy. But you can see it's got a nice smooth lining, so if you're using it as a project bag, your yarn is not going to snag on the bag. It has a very good quality zipper. Sorry, a little ASMR for you guys there. Uh, with that beautiful iridescent trim around either side of the zipper. And then a little wristlet strap, or you can take this off and use it as a key ring. I also find these come very in handy to put some of your stitch markers on here. I have done that. They just permanently live on the bag. And then you just keep that on the bag, and then you have stitch markers handy with your project. And we have a few of these left. We have the gold sequin, and we have the black sequin, which is my favorite, because it's got that pretty, like, A-B finish of the green, blue, and purple on the sequins. Oh, yes, these do make, um, as Chris said, these do make a great, like, special occasion bag if you just need a small little, like, wristlet purse, because, I mean, look how perfectly that just hangs out. It'll hold your knitting and your phone and your wallet. That's all we need. So we have gold, and we have black. And we only have a few of those left. So if you've been wanting one, or maybe like me, been wanting one more, but didn't quite have the ability to justify it, now is the time. Now it is justifiable. Now it is sparkly. Right? I mean, it was justifiable before. Now it's just <laughs> even more justifiable because it's on sale. Anybody who remembers George Carlin, he has a skit about things on sale, so you have to get it. Oh. I don't think I've seen that particular skit. Mm. I've seen quite a bit of George Carlin, but I don't remember a sale we, skit. We quote that one all the time. Mm -hmm. How funny. All right. So then, of course, we also have yarn on the clearance sale, because we're a yarn store. And this is one um, that was on the list of Danielle going, I can't believe I'm clearancing this. But, you know, we got to make room. So here we are. So we have the Imperial Yarn R-Back 40, which is a 100% alpaca yarn. It is DK weight, um, 200 yards per skein. So lots of one skein wonders out there. Uh, I pulled lots of patterns this morning for accessories because, you know, as the sale goes on, sweater quantity will start to be limited. So that way you guys have more options of what you can do with this fabulous yarn. So this first color is called Smoothie. It's the only variegated color. It's got a little chocolate, a little brick, a little rust. But it is a very subtle variegated. Yeah, you're in Nova Scotia. Oh, I hope it's cooler there than here. Yeah, it better be. Right? Unless it's smoky, then I don't want to be there. I hope those are out by now. All right, then if you're more of a red person, we have this beautiful raspberry, which, of course, pairs very nicely with smoothie, because you can have a raspberry smoothie. <laughs> I didn't plan that. That one I just looked into. Then we have this gorgeous chocolate brown called Bark. And lots of fun projects that you can make with this yarn. If you want a really quick, like, giftable item, this golden autumn hat would be great. It's got this really pretty, like, woven texture. Just hoping, that, there we go. You can kind of see the bottom half is reverse stockinette. The top half is stockinette. So you get more of a woven effect by the texture shifting between the diagonal lines. 
It's got a folded brim, so you get that nice thick layer over the ears. If you don't want to do that, you just do knit one purl one ribbing for two inches instead. But just a really pretty overall texture. And this one, um, let's see. Do, 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 do. They must have just gone over their two skeins because I'm like, how did you need two skeins for that? Mm. I'm going to say one to two skeins, depending on what size you're making, is probably just the largest one that actually takes two skeins. Probably because of the folded ribbing. Yeah. Or just, yeah, if you do one by one ribbing, that'll give you more wiggle room in your yardage, and I'm sure you could get away with one. Then we have the Kyler shawl. Surprise. There we go. That's pretty. Beautiful, like, chevron lace pattern, stockinette over here on the side. And then I like this little break from the chevron lace. Like, there's one by one rib for maybe like an inch and a half. And then one more little chevron and then ribbing again. So it gives just a little bit of extra character to it. Oh, they made theirs big. Look at that. Oh. I don't think I'd make mine that big. Not on purpose, anyway. I would. <laughs> That's cute. It had the little knot in it on that picture. Yeah, so this one would take five to six skeins. Yeah, I like it when they do the little knot. And Isabel Kramer's patterns are great. All right, one more, and then I'll show you guys more fabulous colors. Another cute hat. This is Nori, which I'd really like it to zoom in, please. Nope, no zoom for me. We can have manual zoom. All right. It's got this cute little, like, diamond lace detail in the little ridges that I'm like, oh, hers is too dark. <laughs> a thousand projects, that's a good pattern. Nope, too dark. Okay, this person's is unblocked, but that's as good as I'm going to get. So see the little, like, diamonds? Or flowers. Or flowers, yeah. But just a cute little texture. And I like that you like have a little pay attention and then a break. And then a little pay attention and then a break. And I really like how the top of the hat has these little ridges. So it kind of continues the pattern even though the lace doesn't continue once you start decreasing. I think that was very thoughtful. And they're saying 260 yards. If you made it not so slouchy, I think you could get away with one because when we're looking at the projects, you can see like this person only did 210. I mean, that person must have double stranded something because somehow they used 400 yards. Wow. But so right about 210 to 230, so you could probably get away with one and just make it like one repeat shorter and not to stop you if you wanted a one skein. Oops. You guys didn't see that yet. Okay. There's lots more colors. I'm doing the neutrals first just to be different. We have this beautiful caramel color called Fawn is really pretty with the sparkly gold bag. Perfect pairing. Then we have a gorgeous kind of sand color called wheat. Yeah, because I'm going to run out of room. The most neutral of them all, bone, which is the undyed colorway. And then the opposite end of the neutrals, coal for that beautiful soft jet black. And these are on sale for under $19 a skein. So that, if, especially if you're looking for something luxurious that you can gift with, that would be a great choice. Cats, towels, lots of things can be done with one skein. Um, other projects you can do with it, we have oops, this beautiful Andrea's shawl or Andrea's shawl. 
uh, with these stripes in the stockinette at the top, then this beautiful leaf lace detail at the border. This reminds me of that one jacket by Joan Michael McGowan, this knitted on lace border. Mm, Doesn't yes, that look yes. like that vest? It does, yeah. Border? Yeah. So it's got this pretty... Uh, lacy border that's knitted on so you actually are working this section this way and it's like you're slowly binding off as you do your border which is kind of cool because then you don't have to bind off 400 stitches yay they're just done and this one only takes the equivalent of two to four skeins depending on what size you're making I didn't say what their yardage of their yarn was to break it down but you need about twice as much of the main color as the contrast color. Then this Anisos. I, ooh, I didn't notice this picture. Look at the oh, shape. Wow. So it's going to drape around your shoulders really, really nice because you've got this increase line here and then an increase line here and then an increase line down the middle. So you're getting like a triangular U shape instead of just the straight across triangle. But look at the pretty lace detail on this one. And until you get to that beautiful lace border, it's just either knit a row, purl a row, or knit every row with some increases. So not a lot to pay attention to in the beginning. And then just a little bit of pay attention at the end. I really like the Pico bind off on this one. It means beads. Yeah, desperately I know, beads. I'm like, right there, and right there, and right there. Oh, no, I'm going, I'm going in, all oh, in here. Oh, you, you're going for broke. And maybe the Pico bind off. And there's a small size that only takes two skeins, or a large size, all the way through a large size that would take seven skeins. There's one, two, three, four, five sizes wow. on this shawl pattern. That's unusual. Normally you get two. Three at the most. Yeah, but not five. Wow. Well, Technically a fingering weight shawl, but that gauge at DK weight, fabulous. Sometimes you can ignore what they say. Okay, I couldn't resist. Tiny <laughs> shoes. Those are cute. Who doesn't love tiny shoes? This is what you do with your leftovers. And because babies don't actually walk in their tiny shoes, they probably don't need washed very often, so you don't really have to worry about the fact that this is a hand wash yarn. Because really, how often do baby shoes get washed? When they're not walking, not much. Because they're really just being put on for cuteness factor. I saw this project this morning and was like, mm. oh, look how cute it is with the two colors. I love tiny shoes. In general, not just this pattern. So that's the project you do with your leftovers. Because I know people think I'm weird when I say this, but if you knit baby stuff, someone around you will inevitably say, oh, I'm having a baby, or my cousin's having a baby, and it's like, oh, I found a home for the tiny shoes. Ta-da! Okay, we didn't make baby stuff, and we know someone that just had a baby, so... Yeah, I don't know whose fault that one was. Yeah, not ours. <laughs> I really should have knit her something. We really should have knit her something. I know, but then we start a precedent. Yeah, because then that location. the whole office. <laughs> okay, Maggie had to go and ruin it. All right, then oh. we have a beautiful denim navy blue called Midnight. Maggie, that's cats, okay? Babies don't often do that oh, on their shoes. Like, <laughs> cats? Okay. Oh, my goodness. Then we have this gorgeous sky blue. Ironically called Skylit. <laughs> it's a little bit turquoisey, but still a really pretty blue. Then we have a gorgeous green. This olive is called hay. You know, like a field of hay. Or oh hay bear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think Maggie knows what I'm trying not to say. Then let's look at a couple oh, more projects. But that one was so pretty. But I've got what? patterns. Oh, fine. I'll just 
just look at it anyway. Oh, it's, yeah. I also want to do something with those three, but I don't know what. Well, that would be interesting. Yeah. Because they do sort of go together, even though they don't go together. Yeah. You could do this one. Yes. Because I think this one's three colors. This is the Almost Garter Scarf by Nora Gone, which is kind of funny that it's called Almost Garter, because I think the first part of it is garter. So you have, like, garter stitch, and then you're doing three colors in your garter stitch in this part, so you get a blend. But then I'm going to go in back to the project I saw this morning. Because you can see that then they've got this section where it's a little more welted. And then I think this person might have added the basket weave on the end. I don't think it originally had that. But just an easy knit, knit or knit pearl pattern. Nothing crazy to figure out on that one. Yeah, here's a good example. And you can see the different colors, and just knit, 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 nothing crazy. I like this one with lots of colors. So see, you could do the three colors that way. Mm -hmm. And this one, you could easily do probably one skein each of the three colors, because like this person only used 250 yards total. So two skeins would easily do it. Three skeins would give you more variety in your colors. Then we have the Malibu Shawl by Isabel Kramer. Also works for three colors. You've got this beautiful kind of like Fabergé egg texture at the top that's done in two colors, then stripes, and then that Fabergé egg texture and a little ribbing with a little stripe at the end. There's another color. There's just a two-color version. Wow, that's pretty. But this one takes about four skeins total, which is going to break down to, like, for the two-color version, three of your main color and two of your contrast, so that's five skeins. Or in the three-color version, you need three of your main color and one each probably one each of your contrasts. Oh yeah, see here she gives you like actual yardage breakdowns. I appreciate that when they tell you yardage and not just here's how many skeins of the yarn I used. All right, one more and then I'll show the other colors before I torture Susan too much longer. I accidentally went down an Isabel Kramer rabbit hole this morning. This is Leica, like I like it a lot. Little garter stitch at the beginning, then this beautiful, whoa, rude. There we go. Beautiful, like, lattice work texture. There's, this is literally the stitch pattern I was looking for the day I was trying to help um, Claudia figure out a sweater pattern. I'm mm -hmm. like, this is the stitch I want right there. Where was that when I was writing a pattern from a photograph? I don't know. This one, uh, four skeins. And you'd have enough left over to make some tiny shoes. That's pretty awesome yardage usage. Right? Especially at that price. Like, alpaca for a steal? Yes, please. And look, you could just fade right through all four of those. Oh, yes. What are those for? You could do that. You could do a lot of combinations there. This would actually be really pretty for that three-color one. Or what Susan was drooling over. We have this gorgeous chartreuse yellow green called New Leaf. Then the one that I of course drool over, the sunflower yellow goldenrod. And then last but not least, kind of a plum purple called Violet. Why do they go together? I don't know, because it's like they don't go together, but they go together. To Darla. <laughs> but for anybody just joining the party, um, this is 100% alpaca. This is an American-made yarn, basically from start to finish, like the alpacas actually live here. Um, it is a DK weight. 
200 yards per skein, and it is hand wash cold, lay flat to dry, or if you have a fancy schmancy washer that has a hand wash wool cycle, test it on your swatch. Because it could happen. The new washers are making it a lot less work to hand wash. <laughs> so we have lots of beautiful colors. So currently we still have all of these colors in stock or when we started the video we did. I cannot guarantee what's happening now because the clearance sale is online and accessible to you through the pinned link. But I've got a few more patterns I can show you guys just in case you didn't find an idea you're in love with yet. I could see you doing this one. Exactly. Yes. This is the indomitable cowl. Makes me think of like indomitable snowman. Yeah. You've got this one little cable section of the elongated stitch cables. So it's a super easy cable that you can do without a cable needle. Then a little slip stitch texture to blend the two colors, garter stripes, and then finish out in this textured rib with your other color. This is a very Susan E project. Definitely. Had to show the pink one. Ooh, I like this. They did their garter stitch so that the wrong side is oh, out wow. so that it blends the colors more. That's easy to do. You just change what row you change the colors on so that instead mm -hmm. of the color change being on the knit row, it's on the purl row. Or round, I should say. Round. Um, this one is two sizes and... You need like one skein each of color A and B, it looks like, for the small, maybe two of each for the medium. Maybe this is a purple and gold I need to do. Oh, there you go. Yeah. She's been wanting purple and gold for, well, I don't know, six months now? These two right there. Right? Goldenrod and violet. And an indomitable cowl. It's hard to say. Um, then we have the apiarist cowl, which is this beautiful, like, kind of traveling cable-looking stitch pattern with the reverse stockinette background, so you get this beautiful honeycomb look. And you could easily get away with doing one skein and just stopping, like, a repeat early, like, stop here instead of down here. No one's going to know. And then you can get away with one skein. And then last but not least, Whoa. this one was fun. I saw this and was like, oh, okay, we have to show this one. It's elongated cables, but stacked in such a way that it gives it like this woven texture. That's fascinating. Right? It's like an elongated over regular. Yeah. Wow. It's really, really cool. Because it looks like it's woven. And that one's a free pattern, so more money for yarn. And the smaller size, one skein. Wow. With a just keep swimming cowl. That's awesome. Uh huh. Caught me on that one, did you? I did. Okay, we should probably tell you guys about some upcoming classes. Let's see, in just a couple days, we have the Stop Short Crochet Cowl on Friday. This one is for those crocheters who really want to kind of, you know, boost their skills a little bit, learn how to do faux short rows. You're just alternating between different stitches, so it's really a good one for helping you kind of Keep track, learning how to recognize your stitches and keep count. I'll give you a little hint. Use stitch markers. Um, but three colors of worsted weight, although you could definitely get away with using the DK weight we showed today and maybe just pop down one hook size to make it work with the lighter weight yarn. Then on 
Friday, August 4th, we have the Defying Physics towel out of worsted weight also. Another one you could easily get away with subbing DK weight on. Um, this is another one where it has a really cool trick of an all decrease row. So you cut your stitches in half and then an all increase row. So you boost your stitches back up to the original number. And it also has a little cowboy cowl increasing down the middle. Then on Tuesday, August 8th, we have the basic broomstick crochet cowl. This one is for anybody who thinks broomstick lace looks intimidating. It's not. It's literally just working around the stick. So in this case, we use like a size 15 double point so that you can get that faux drop stitch look that you would get in knitting. But for the crocheters, this one was inspired by Danielle's cherry drop cowl pattern. I had full permission to make a replica of it in crochet. That one is DK weight, actually. So two colors of today's yarn and voila. Then we seem to be on a little bit of a crochet kick. I blame Danielle and her Persian tiles blanket. Uh, we have the In a Twist crochet washcloth class that you guys might remember the video where I was drooling over a spiral crochet baby blanket and thought, well, you know, we've got this fabulous new cotton yarn in that's perfect for washcloths. Why don't we just make it washcloth sized and then everybody can learn the cool tricks involved in being able to use two colors in a spiral like this. It's very interesting, the construction. I, I was surprised on how they made it happen. And I'm like, oh, that's really, really smart. Who did that? Like whoever came up with that, they're a very, very smart cookie. And then last but not least, there's not really a model for this one because you don't really need a model for a binding off class. But we have our binding off three ways class coming up on Saturday, August 12th. We're going to teach you three bind offs, a Kitchener bind off, um, which is also known as a sewn bind off, Jenny's surprisingly stretchy bind off, and then a Pico bind off. So like that Pico bind off that you just saw in that shawl, if you're like, ooh, pretty, but it sounds hard, we've got a class for that. So we'll teach you all of the tricks. All right, so that is it for our upcoming classes. So then it's just down to what are we wearing, and then we can start pulling your guys' orders. So this is Raspberry Cordial. It was a Casapinka pattern, of course, with a pink rosette scarf cuff, because I can't find my red one. Um, I don't know if red would have gone, but I wanted to wear my red one today. Um, but we have the Raspberry Cordial Chalette with three colors of fingering white yarn, one main color, two contrasts. The contrast is very subtle in here. We've got the coral and then the gray. The gray was very subtle. But just little textural differences, and you can kind of see it's more of like a U shape instead of a triangle. So you get a little more flexibility for wrapping it around your shoulders. It does cowboy cowl nicely, but today, because it's summer, it's nice to have less on your neck. So I just kind of do a quick little tie, pop the scarf cuff around it. Give a little tug to get it where I want it, and voila! And then we'll take the camera from Shujin and show you what she is wearing. Yes, Darla, new techniques for your toolbox. Okay. Sorry, just having trouble here. Wardrobe malfunction. It's because you didn't wear your clip. Yeah, I know. This one is above the fold, and I have to show my sister so the rest of you get to see. She's wearing a skirt. <laughs> Don't get used to it. It's summer, so she's getting it's desperate. Hot. Yeah, so. It's fingering weight yarn, a self striping for this part, a solid paired with some sparkly for that part, and voila. Oh, Karen said OMG. I know, right? And we know it's not about the shawl, even though the shawl is pretty OMG. Yeah. 
Yes, Maggie, she is, but yes. she's resistant to being cute. She doesn't like to wear cute things. She likes to wear pants. It's not that I, I like pants. <laughs> I like pants too, but I also like dresses and skirts, especially in the summer. Yeah, you're getting tons of compliments about how pretty yeah. you are in your skirt. So see, you wear more skirts. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. No promises. Maggie, you got to take her shopping every time she comes down there and make her get a new skirt. Because then she has to wear it because it's new. Right? That's how that works. Have to wear your new clothes. Yeah. All right, you guys. I think that's going to be it today. I think we covered all the things. So we'll pull your orders. Um, Danielle will be on at 3 o'clock for Knit, Sip, and Hook from somewhere here, there. I don't know where she's doing it today. Um, but we'll be open 11 to 5 today. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.